this squeezable? Oh. I got it. I got it. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. Eat that, DJ. Bill Bender, Bender Stash. We're on the golf course right now. Love me some manifest. They got me hammered last time I was there. Yeah, Dave, I remember. We don't play from the blue tees. We play from the back of the blue tees. Let's talk about age statements on whiskeys. Now, all different categories of whiskeys are different. Some being older and better and some being younger and better. Uh, bourbon, for example. Now, in my opinion, the golden age of bourbon is 14 to 18 years. If you could find something within that 14 to 18 year, mark it's going to be amazing because it's losing the characteristics of the sweet corn and it's starting to gain the characteristics of the barrel that it's in you know it all has to do with with temperature control climate control blah 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 where it is if it's closer to the floor in the aging warehouse whether it's closer to the ceiling but anything over at 20 years with bourbon is dicey it's very finicky um if it's not closely monitored, uh, the quality control on it, then it's gonna get hot. It's gonna get super oaky. Like literally, see that tree right there? Just rip off a piece of bark and just put it in your mouth and chew on it. Now that's not good, but people are paying astronomical amounts of money for age statements that are over 20 years old because, you know, they think it's, it's good. The older it is, the better it is. And I'm telling you, it's not other than a very few, select few um, distilleries. Very select few distilleries that have age statements over 20 years old that, ha that maintain that quality. That's where you're gonna find the good stuff. Like the real good stuff. The real, real good stuff. Let me hit this ball. Holding people up. I melted the golf ball off the first tee. Weird. One ninety. I think he's gonna hit about a nine iron. It's gonna be a little story. Out of Hamilton, New Jersey. Oh, he's really eyeing this one up. Taking dead aim. Is this ten? Like, what's going on here? Damn it, Dave! You got me drunk again. <laughs> Big ball. Now everything I say in these videos is strictly my interpretation of whiskey and cocktails. It's got nothing to do with with things that I've read because everybody's entitled to their own opinion, and that's fine. And 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 
I'm just giving you my point of view on certain subjects, one being age statements on whiskeys. Uh, we can get into cocktails, too many ingredients, too many weird ingredients. If you have more than five, four to five ingredients in a cocktail, then I mean, what's, what's it gonna taste like possibly? How many layers of flavor could you possibly get? You know, you have your base spirit, you have a sweetener, you have uh, your sour, you have your modifiers. You know, anything else more than that is just too much. I'm just a guy out in the golf course right now, hitting some golf balls, trying to make some birdies, and talking about the things that he's learned over the past couple decades. That's all I'm doing. Hopefully, you'll agree with me. If not, that's okay too. That was dope. Little bird, what? You know, you run a tiny whiskey bar in a suburb of Dallas, I can't get you a bottle because- Exactly, because it's highly allocated. It. Yeah, yeah, the, highly that, allocated. That exactly. phrase, highly allocated, oh you're just God. like- Dude, I'm getting PTSD just thinking about Highly this. allocated this. This is Bill Bender, Bender Stash. I'm kind of hammered right now, so we're gonna stop filming. We just picked up a fellow, what's your name, bro? Gary. Gary? Yeah. Bill, nice to meet you. Bill, nice to meet you. Take a swig of that good stuff. Absolutely. Just moved here from Texas. First time in Palm Beach and uh, moving to Orlando tomorrow. So here we go. All right, bottoms up, bro. The tea. The tea. Remember, always enjoy what you drink. Shit, bro. Right, bro. Thanks, brother. Nice to meet you.